Yeah, so all these things I kind of gave you, this is kind of out of the box, day in, day out stuff. You can't get too good at it. You can't do it too much. Hey, thanks for watching Be Better Golf. I'm here with Dan Martin. Dan's product is this here, the Pro. And the people who have gotten the Pro, and I have it myself, it's a really, really great training aid for teaching you how the forces work in a super efficient golf swing. Dan, a lot of people that have gotten the Pro, I want to make sure that when somebody gets something through Be Better Golf, it's that they actually use it. I don't want anything that you get through my channel to be collecting dust because if I've decided that I want to like do something with with something it's because I really like it and I think it'll make you better at golf so Dan today rather than like showing people exercises and hoping they do do it this is going to be like a follow-along video kind of like an 80s style fitness video <laughs> and uh, so so get your pro you can set this up on your computer or on your phone at the range or in your backyard or anywhere and this is the type of thing where you can go through and just hit play and just watch this video like once a week or every once in a while and then you'll start to get it more and more. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for the opportunity here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just as a side note, if you own a pro, you can be on Coach Now. You're getting some of my backyard videos. If you're not, you got to reach out to me. Email me, dan at danmartingolf.com and we'll make sure you're set up so you can always get some of the ongoing coaching because it does take a lot to figure this out. So um, what, what I kind of want to go over today here is I'm just going to show you guys some of, kinda some of the, the, the important things you need to figure you need to learn to do with your pro. And then we'll, we'll talk about actually applying them to the golf swing as well. So first of all, when you, when you swing your pro, this is one of the, like, the most number one things that you need to get good at doing. You need to think of this, don't think of this as I'm trying to do my golf swing with the pro. I'm learning something new that I'm going to apply to my golf swing, okay? So I need to let go a lot of my golfism. So one of the number one things I need you to do is when you hold the pro, hold it in your fingertips, don't put your whole grip on it and grip it, grip it, put a death grip on it. We're going to hold it light. There's a reason why that grip is small, okay? Because the net effect or what we want to learn how to do is swing this and keep this straight for the entire forward swing, okay? So specifically from the top or right down and through the impact area. So I need to hold it light to do that because any time that I am holding it tight, it automatically starts to bend around the grip joint. So that means that my swing is not proportional to its pivot point, which we'll get into later. But that's a bad thing. So anytime this thing is bending is not so good, okay? So if you learn to hold it lightly, kind of like, I call it like a piccolo grip or like a flute, and you want to learn to let it flop when it gets to the top of the swing. So if you look at my back here, this is what I want to start with. Just, just practice taking it back and letting it flop on your back. So they can follow along right here with yeah, this part. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I'd get your pro out, just take it back, let it flop, okay? So if you if you look here, get right behind me, you can see how I'm doing that. Most people want to do this. Now that's gonna make it really difficult to understand the physics. Now when you get to your golf club, we're gonna go back to this, okay? But to learn the pro and learn the physics, I need to learn to let this flop a little bit, okay? So just take some time, make a big turn, let it flop. Then I can start to learn how to get this thing off my back and line it up. So I do that like, you know, 10, 10 20 times. Just Let's back, do it. So let it flop and then start from there. So even if you don't get it straight coming around, let it flop and start it back around. Your arms have to bend. It's fine, okay? Don't worry about arms bending ever. That's a necessity in swinging the pro. If your golf club was built with a rope as a shaft, everybody's technique would bend their arms, okay? So keep taking that back. Just work on that back swing, making sure it feels like the grip kind of flops or goes down your back, okay? Great. All right, now next thing is, after we kind of felt that, you probably are already doing this, but I want you to make this sure this is an active, an active practice session or an active understanding. You will not transfer or develop your swing until you're making a turn, um, or you won't be able to learn how to swing the pro, I should say, unless you make a full turn. You will not improve your golf swing until you learn to make a full turn. A full turn is letting the torso make a big enough rotation that from here, you can probably see my upper right back. Yeah. Right? For those of you that are senior players, you're a little tight in the hips, let it go, okay? Don't let your feet stay rooted to the ground, let them come off the ground, okay? Does, that does not matter, okay? So I want to turn big like so to the point where I can actually see the cylinder get back around me. So I want it to wrap when it gets to the top where I can actually see it, okay? So what we're going to practice doing is we're going to make a big enough turn where the cylinder wraps back around and I can see it down there, okay? Right, so this is our next exercise. So we're going to follow along with Dan here, right Dan? Yep, so let's do a few reps here so I get it going. Still holding it light. There it is, right around, right around there, okay? So this is not what I want, okay? That isn't gonna help us learn. It has to go all the way underneath the lat like that. 
Boom. So we're really concentrating on a big turn here. Big turn, okay? Yeah. So if I had tight hips, I'd look like this, okay? If I'm more flexible, I might stay more on the ground, okay? If I'm more like Brendan, I'll probably stay more grounded. If I'm more like a senior player, I'm gonna get more up like this. It's great, okay? But I wanna make sure that pro gets underneath my lat and I can kind of feel it and I can see it almost literally pointing to the direction that I'd want to swing it in. In fact, it actually will do that. It's part of part of understanding the swing path or swing plane. Boom. It's also really loosening me up. <laughs> really like that big turning feel. It's a good warm-up thing to do then before Absol you play, huh? Absolutely. And if you wanted to go left-handed and just do the same thing, you could do that as well. I have no problem with that. That's what my left-handed swing would start to look like. Good. Okay. So now move, moving on with our pro training here, the next, the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna start putting some of these things together. Now, this is the hardest part of the pro for hand, for, for sure, because I'm gonna take these kind of things that I figured out, getting my hands to be lighter, making that full turn, feeling it kind of wrap around me. I need to learn how to get this straight, okay? If you own a pro and you struggle in golf, it's hard, I get it, okay? So what I have to start to do is I have to now change my, my viewpoint. I'm gonna look back and I wanna watch this thing come around, okay? So the, the object should feel when you get to here, I'm gonna have you do a little simple exercise. I want you to just kind of put it on your back and I want you to do this, okay? Now this isn't to say that you're gonna start your swing with your arms, but I want you to understand that this is bad. And this is good, okay? So. When I start to make motion, I don't want my hands putting force on that grip and bending it. That's a cast, okay? I don't care when that happens in the swing, it's never good, okay? So this has to stay straight so we can actually start to get the energies of the swing to ultimately get into the pro and accelerate, okay? So when you're back here, just take it back and just practice dragging like this, okay? Ultimately, it's gonna be the turn of my body that gets all this stuff to happen. But as for now, we're just gonna keep our hands passive and not let that thing bend. Let's go one more time back. Let's get it kind of uncomfortable so I get it back there. Boom. Okay, there's my feel. And now we're going to move that into motion, okay? So I'm going to go back, I'm going to feel it, and then I'm going to watch with my eyes as this comes around. I need to see if my hands keep putting a for distorting force on it. So you can see how much I'm bending that. I do not need to do this. I don't need to swing it fast. Don't worry about that. I want to swing it slow, enough motion to create to get it to work, but not so fast that I can't see what's going on. So I need to spend most of my time training with a pro. You can see my eyes never go back down to the ball. Watch what happens when my eyes go back down to the ball. I guarantee you I'm bending it. You're missing everything you need to learn about a swing is right through here. And if your eyes aren't watching it, you can't actually teach your body how to react. Alternately, you could use a mirror, but I'm gonna suggest you always look back, okay? A lot of players, I've noticed I've worked with senior players, they have a really hard time balancing. Keep doing it, your balance will get better, okay? So you have to learn how to turn and balance and start to learn that keeping my eyes and the head steady isn't what keeps me balanced. It's my understanding of kind of motion and how to, how to react to the earth and the gravity, okay? So going back, and we're just gonna start watching that go through. And this is where you get better at it. Every time you see it bend, you gotta do something different. What I, want to, what I want to focus on doing is keeping my hands in the same exact shape as I come around until I feel it pull and straighten my hands. That is how a golf swing works. I don't care if it gets to a perfect impact position right now. All we want to feel is that it comes off the top. My hands are, I'm watching it. I can tell that I'm keeping it straight. And anytime that I don't, I go, that was bad. And I try to come back and I try something different, okay? And that is how you, that's how you learn how to swing this, okay? Nobody learns it looking down, I promise, okay? A, it makes the swing worse because you don't turn enough, and then B, you miss all, all the things that you need to learn. And so if that is your kind of like your regular, your regular kind of process with the pro to get started, you'll start developing what you need to do. Once I get better at doing all these things, then I can start figuring out kind of how my body pumps more energy into it, like, like Brendan's able to do now. He's able to really kind of swing it more, quote unquote, like a golf swing. So last thing, Dan, just grab a yes. golf club. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and so to give us one thing to do after we've built up all those feels. Perfect. So yeah, so all these things I kind of gave you, this is kind of out of the box, day in, day out stuff. You can't get too good at it. You can't do it too much. So once, once I'm kind of starting to get this feel here, I can feel the pro kind of wants to pull away from me, okay? So as it's coming around, it kind of extends. So I don't have to keep trying to go 
farther and faster into the forward swing. I'm just getting it started and letting it go. Once you do that a few times, just pick up a golf club. Don't evaluate, don't judge. The only thing I don't want you to do is don't flop it like the pro. Take it back on a normal, but I promise you, you're gonna feel it pull on you. Like I can feel like, whoa, that thing is, that thing's got some energy to it. That is the extensive quantity of momentum. And so every time I practice swing my pro and then come back and swing my club, my brain remembers the feel of that energy. And that's what I wanna start getting myself accustomed to is what, what, that, what, you're, what you're experiencing after swinging the pro is something I need to learn how to get familiar with. Don't reject it, I wanna accept it, and I'm gonna learn how to align that, okay? All right, guys, do that. So when you're watching that video, I mean, every time, even when, when Dan's talking about stuff, I mean, have this thing in your hands and it's have it be an active uh, kind of fun process and go back to the beginning. If you start this video so you don't have to see our whole intro, if you start this video and I think you, if, you, if you're on a keyboard, hit the number one, it'll skip right to it. If you're on your phone, you can just tap like five times and it'll go right to when the actual training starts. I'll put a, a marker there for, for when that is. And if you don't have a pro, you can go over, and you saw this video, you can go over to bebettergolf.net slash pro shop, and you'll see it up there. I really, uh, I like it, and it's helped my golf swing a lot, and uh, a lot, I got a lot of good feedback from Be Better Golfers about it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.